Hello guys, hello friends, welcome to this video and in today's video I want us to discuss a very exciting and most interesting topic. I'll be talking about the government bonds and government, uh, you know, treasury bills. What are these government bonds and also treasury bills, okay? And um, how are they beneficial to you? Uh, are they safe for you to invest in, okay? So in this video I'll basically talk about uh, uh, everything you need to know. I'll introduce you to these bonds and treasury bills. In this video also, I'll further discuss some technologies that are used, um, um, some technologies that are used in uh, these uh, you know, financial institutions like this. Okay. To start with, uh, treasury, bills, uh, treasury bills and the government bonds are basically government securities. Okay, government securities. So you might be wondering what are these government securities? Okay, so government securities are simply for the debt uh, instruments issued by the government through the Bank of Zambia. Okay, so um, these are only instruments that the government may use to get money from you. Okay, so basically what we are talking about, the government is actually borrowing money from the people. Okay, the government comes out to say, okay, they need uh, this amount of money and um, they announce it to the public to say, okay, I, we as government, we need this particular amount of money. And those that got money, let's say if the government says uh, for this month, the government needs uh, uh, three million, uh, three million Zambian kwacha. Uh, so then what we are going to do, the government is going to, actually is going to make an announcement through the Bank of Zambia. And um, people that have money, you know, like you have money and um, you come on board to say, okay, I also have money. So if they say they need 3 million uh, debt from the people, then you say, okay, fine. I also have a 500,000. I also have uh, one, uh, 100,000. I also have a 10,000. I also have 5,000. Okay. So you can actually go to them and also lend your money to the government so that the government can actually get that money, use the money and later pay you, giving you an interest. That's a goodness. Okay, so you get the, the government will get your money, we use the money, add something on top. Okay, so your money will still remain. If at all you don't want to use your money in um, a different way, you can still do that so that your money is preserved. And at the end of the day, you also have uh, an, an increment on top. So the government will get debt from the people just like you. Okay, they'll get debt. And um, what is this debt for? The government has projects to fund, okay? There is need for infrastructure, there is need for uh, so many so many things that the government may want to do, okay? So the government may get the money from the people and bring it back, okay? These government securities are in two forms. Okay, there is what we call treasury bill and there is also what we call a government bond, okay? A treasury bill is just a... a it's just a debt instrument that allows the government to get money from the people and um, you, the treasury bill is just a short term investment that uh, you, you invest into uh, you give the government your money but this one is just uh, a short term so uh, the least this one can last is um, 365 days or 364 days so it can never go beyond the 365 days okay so once um, you invest your money you are able, you are expected to get your money after uh, that, that period. Now, you can invest your money uh, depending with what you want. You can either say, okay, find my money, I'll actually reclaim or claim my money, or you say, okay, my, the maturity for my money, it will be uh, after 91 days, because they have 91 days, they also have 273 days, and they also have uh, 360 days, which is one year. So you can say, okay, fine, I'll give the government my money and after 91 days, I should be able to withdraw. You cannot withdraw the money. You cannot get your money if at all you, that period, the maturity period has not reached. So they will still keep the money until the maturity period reaches. So um, you can either say, okay, I want this to be 90 days. I want this to be um, 273 days or I want it to be in, uh, uh, in the whole year. In treasury bills, interests are paid at the end of the maturity period. Okay, so if you say, uh, me, it will be 91 days, then it means that at the end of 91 days, then they are going to add the interest on that money during uh, at the end of that period. 
let's say for example you said I invested the uh, 30,000 then at the end of um, let's say I invested the uh, 40,000 50,000 whatever amount of money or you invested the 10,000 then at the end of 91 days then they are going to give you uh, let's say when you invested the 10,000 maybe they might give you 15,000 or they might give you uh, 13,000 depending on the rate that you had at the moment when you are doing that okay so um the interest rate is paid at the end of that and if i told you say okay fine i will invest this money uh, and get the money after 273 days it depends also so the interest will vary depending on the space of time now the increment with treasury bills they are going to add that at the end of the period so if at all you invested 20,000 then at the end of uh, at the end of a year you get 25,000 or 30,000 the difference that's the interest rate that they're going to add on your money isn't that good of course you've um, you know you've uh, actually secured your money your money is safe and uh, you, you don't need to worry if the money increases you need to own you don't need to do anything your money is just with the bank the only thing is you, you sit down they deduct the money the money starts working and at the end of the day they add something okay so that's about treasury bills so treasury bills is only for say, 365 days and it doesn't go beyond a year government bonds as opposed to treasury bills the only difference here is the, the, the period okay so a government bond is a long-term investment okay where you invest your money and um, you can decide uh, how many years you want the money to stay with the government. So with uh, government bonds, this one is interesting, very interesting. I like it. With government bonds, you have to invest your money and you get the money after two years. That's the minimum. Okay, it's two years, four years, five years, six years, or up to fifteen years. Okay, so from two years to fifteen years, that's uh, the government bond. The minimum is only two years so if you say you give them a ten thousand and um if you want to get that money back you'd get your money after uh two years or after four years or after 15 years this is great you can plan for your child to say okay fine um i want this money to help my child once the my, once my child gets to uh, university so you can say okay fine i put this money then i withdraw the money after 15 years so if your child is maybe in grade um, one or whatever grade the child is at the end of the day you'd find that you have the money with government bonds the government will indicate the interest that it's going to pay the percentage it's going to pay depending on the amount that you present okay of course you don't expect someone to invest a hundred thousand to get the same amount with someone who invested uh, a, a ten thousand so the difference is there of course so depending on the amount of money that you invested that's the one the government is going to use to determine how much percentage is going to add on your money okay so with government bonds when you say let's say you have you have invested for two years okay you have invested for two years now within these two years with the government bond you'll be able to be given a bonus okay you'll be given something at the end of six months okay so let's say if you started the investment after six months then you'll be able to be given something the percentage of something on the interest there now that amount of money you'll be given is not counted as in maybe they deduct from the amount of money you gave them no they'll just give you that okay so the goodness of this you can say okay fine this interest you give me this month then i'll also i'll also invest this is what i encourage if i told you i've given something just try to invest that again okay so um every after six months you will reinvest every after six months you are given something so if it's the space is for two years meaning that you are going to be given uh you are going to be paid four times okay you'll be paid four times like every after six months now at the end of two years you also be given back your money and they also add the interest on that money okay so let's say if at all you invested a uh, ten thousand, let's say you get it after two years, you may be given. It's just an example. After six months, maybe they give you a three thousand. Every six months they give you a three thousand. Then at the end of 
two years they are going to give you a 10,000 and they're also going to have maybe a 5,000 so you may end up going back with a, a, a 15,000 that's only an example okay so that's a goodness of uh, government bonds you can either invest in a long-term investment or you can you can also be given something at the end of uh, six months that's a goodness the differences between the two the treasury bills the treasury bills and also the government bonds the treasury bill is a short-term investment while a government bond is a long-term investment like i said the treasury bill only lasts for 360 uh, days 65 days one year it will not go beyond that then a government bond government bond can last even up to 15 years okay so the differences is this one the other one is long term the other one is short term okay the other difference is that um, with the treasury bills you are not given anything after at the end of six months but you are only given the interest at the end of the maturity period but with government bonds you'll be able to give it, to be given something like um, at the end of uh, six months you are given something at the end of six months you are given something and then at the end of the maturity period or at the maturity period you'll be given also the percentage added to your money that you actually invested advantages of someone investing into these uh, government securities the advantages are that the first one is like they are like they are, like they are called government securities okay the first thing that they are secured these things are secured the government will not go anywhere you will never hear that the government of zambia has run away to, <laughs> has run away to another country or something the government will always be there okay whether they, there's change of government or whatever if there's change of party but the, the government still remains the government of zambia so it be either your money will still remain and the money is secured imagine giving uh, giving a government your money you see so the, the government has to make sure that it pays back your money okay that's number one advantage of this the other advantage also for doing this is that you can actually sell them you can actually convert them into money for example if uh, i i bought some some securities then um i feel like i need money I can still say okay fine give me the money that i invested then we transfer uh the ownership you become the owner now so we can actually just do that we exchange then i get my money someone else comes in and takes up uh, my, my securities that's one thing which is good there also the other thing also is that uh, you can actually use government bonds as collateral when you want to get a loan okay so like uh you can say um you can say you you go to a government uh, you go to a bank you need to get a loan uh, you can actually tell the, the, the bank to say you have got a bond with the government and that can be used as a collateral okay so you can get a loan using that as a collateral okay the, the government can still say no we, we still have the money for this guy so if anything we can still uh, the, this money can still pay the issue okay so they can be used as collateral so at this time you don't need to say no you have a house you, know, you have a vehicle for you to uh, to get a loan that's correct loan or that so you can actually use this the information is kept uh is the information is digital like it's, it's kept in computers and everything so there's nothing like uh, maybe you can lose the paper you can do it no your information is already there in the database you can actually access the information anytime okay so those that's about the government bonds and treasury bills now in the next video I'll start. Uh, I'll, I'll teach you about uh, how to go about these things. Like, how can you start to do um, a treasury bill, uh, government bond? What are the steps needed, and how much do you need? Also, the calculations. How do they calculate the rates and everything? So make sure that you follow the next video that I'm going to make about these treasury bonds, uh, treasury bills, and uh, government bonds. So for now, thank you so much for watching. It's bye bye.